So many people uh, love to pamper their pets. And often that includes paying for their health care, of course. You want to take them to the vet at least once a year. But it can be tough for many people who are struggling with other bills when those vet costs start to skyrocket. Correspondent Dr. Debbie Turner-Bell, the Early Show's resident veterinarian, is here with more. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. This is a huge number. Do you know that pet owners spend $50 billion on their pets this year? They will. And most believe it's really a small price to pay for unconditional love. But in this economy, many people are forced to make tough choices when it comes to veterinary expenses. We met one family who faced that kind of decision twice. Good girl. Stay. Good Agnieszka girl. Anachimuk considers her Bernice mountain dog Daisy an important member of the family. So when Daisy swallowed a rock and required $3,000 worth of surgery and treatment, she didn't hesitate. It was a tough decision, but that was the only decision I could make. I just couldn't lose that dog. This is the second time the Anachimuks have been hit with a huge vet bill in just three months. He will let us play with him. That's when their dog Jake died after a long, heartbreaking battle with cancer. The cost of Jake's treatments rang up a $7,000 bill. Are you rich? No. So was it easy to come up with? It wasn't easy, no. To pay their vet bills, the Anachimuks maxed out their credit cards and borrowed the rest from family and friends. And they are not alone. According to a recent survey, 70% of pet owners are willing to shell out any amount to keep their furry family members healthy and happy. The human-animal bond is stronger than it's ever been. And so people really are attached to their pets and they want the best quality care for them. The average cost of veterinary services and surgery for a dog in 2010 was $655. That's a 47% increase since 2000. Vet costs for cats rose 73% in the last decade. Veterinary care is expensive. Mm -hmm. Everything is at our fingertips. More and more veterinary clinics, like the Blue Pearl Vet Hospital in Manhattan, can offer CT scans, MRIs that can image the entire body, complex surgeries, even radiation and chemotherapy. Pet owners want to take that extra step. They want to do the diagnostics and be able to treat, focusing greatly on quality of life. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of spending. And even now, it's a lot of work that we have to put in in order to pay it off. While the Anachimuks are paying back their $10,000 vet tab, they hope to avoid such large vet bills in the future by doing everything possible to keep Daisy healthy and out of harm's way. Agnieszka also said no more rocks in the house. <laughs> now, the best way to keep costs down is preventative care, but every pet owner should understand that having a pet is a responsibility, so you should be prepared for paying for proper medical care when the need arises. Talking about that preventative care, though, what's the, what's the best way to do that? There are three things. First of all, as Erica mentioned at the top of the piece, visit the veterinarian regularly. Take your pet to the veterinarian at least once or twice a year. That'll catch things early. Second thing, dental care. People don't know how important taking care of the teeth is to the overall health of the mm. animal. Third thing, and that's true with human beings, obesity. It can cause or worsen diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease, arthritis. All of those are very expensive to treat if the animal comes down with them or if they get way down the road with them. So those are ways you can keep those huge bills down. Simple common sense stuff, but the, but the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Absolutely. Yeah. It's the least we could do. That's right, especially for all that they give to us. Absolutely. Right? Nice to see you, Deb. Thanks. Sure.